So welcome to Midweek Peak, a peak behind the scenes at Old South Church in Boston. This is actually part two of an episode about the Old South Church Great Bell, a 2020 pound bell up here in our tower. Um, I was here last week and it was so windy up here I couldn't put up my tripod and I could hardly speak. So I'm gonna give you a little bit more of a tour about uh, the bell and, and, our, and our view from up here. So here goes. This is our second tower. The first one completed in 1875 was leaning. It started to lean as it was being built and each year they would measure it and it kept leaning until about 1890 or something. It stopped leaning until 1912 when the green line came through here in Boylston Street right beside us and all the banging and knocking underground set the tower to leaning again. So this one completed in 1937. It's a little bit shorter, uh, 14 or 16 feet shorter than the first one. Not quite as massive, and the most important thing is that its foundation this time was built really correctly. It's very solid today. Here's the view from the Old South Church Campanile. There's the Charles River over there the MIT Dome. In this direction, you can see our sister congregation, Trinity Church, and below us, our wonderful Italianate roof, polychromatic, two-color uh, slates with the lantern or cupola. This area of Copley Square contains the densest concentration of National Historic Landmark buildings anywhere. There are three right here, the Boston Public Library, Trinity Church, and Old South Church. Nowhere else are three National Historic Landmarks in such close proximity. And down here, the Marathon finish line. It's a pretty great view from up here. Today is a day before the, what would have been the running of the Boston Marathon. You can see a runner down there who's just done it, crossed the finish line, did it on his own. Want a real thrill? You climb up this ladder to get into the tippy top. And there's another ladder from there to get into the tippy top of the roof of the Campanile. tolling hammer up against the bell itself. I'm going to demonstrate those now. You're looking right at the tolling hammer now. I'm going to uh, lift it up and pull it against the bell.
Here you can see the thicker of the two ropes. The, this one is strung through the bell wheel, and when pulled, it gets the wheel into motion, which then puts the bell into motion, and then the bell knocks against its own clapper or tongue. I'm going to do it by hand. Here's a really nice view of our clapper. It's a new clapper. It's about 150 pounds of metal. Um, and the old one is in the Crawford Library on display. And the tolling hammer. And its ropes system. We have some pretty great sound effects at Old South Church in Boston, and one of my favorites is this hatch, the hatch that gets you from the fourth floor into uh, the tower itself. Enjoy. How great is that? See you downstairs.